What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we started to explore the the Ephemeral Shrine? Is that what it was called? I don't I don't remember exactly. But we made our way to this reliquary, which we need to open. However, in order to do so, we need to open up some area up there. And so we were going to go try to figure out just how we can actually do that. So let's start exploring, right? <laughs> Countless unlit lanterns are lined up on the, the moisture blackened shelves, okay? Also, really quickly, I upped the sensitivity basically all the way for the analog stick, so you'll notice that things move a little bit more quickly now. And I'm hoping that they stay that way. And that it proves to be useful. Alright, so what were we going to do? It looks like we might be able to do something over on this right side. I also remember there were a whole bunch of locks that we ran into in the last episode. Many flower themed ones. Oh, you're an enemy. Oh man, what a waste. Alright, you gonna go in for the, the attack now? Yes, no, maybe? Here we go, here it comes. And... No? You're just kind of like swimming? I mean, alright, that's all good. If you want to do that, I'll, I'll take some pictures in the meantime. That's, a uh... Ooh, Fatal Frame? Or Shutter Chance? Or both? I wonder if it's possible to get both back here. That'd be pretty interesting. Uh-oh. Did I dodge it? No, I clearly did not dodge it. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do anything else, let me... Nice. We got a fatal frame with the heal shot. And we actually didn't really heal all that much. A little bit of a bummer. Oh, fatal glance. Come on. Interesting. We got 710 points for that fatal glance. I remember in the last episode we also got a decent number of points for a fatal glance too. Is that just like residual damage we could have gotten on them? Wow, that one really took a long time to fade away. And so we really didn't heal much from that shot, did we? It actually is almost tempting enough to actually upgrade that lens in particular. So that we can recover more when we actually do hit. And then the second thing is if we increase our damage output, that'll also increase the amount we heal. So I think I'm actually going to do that for now. I know I was talking about maybe doing loader next to have just maximum reload time. I think I still think that'll be my next one, but in the meantime, I think I'd like to utilize damage a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we can actually do a whole lot in here. So I guess we'll head back and try and figure out some other way that we can... Actually, it's also making me kind of nervous how low health we are on, so I will use one herbal medicine just to be safe. But we'll try to heal up using the recovery shot when we can. But if I recall correctly, we had pretty much explored everywhere available to us. Right? Hmm. I guess we maybe want to try to get over this way? This looks like it might lead to where we're trying to go. I could switch floors. That's not really where I'm looking to go. This is the first floor. Are we technically in like the basement or we're beneath the shrine? Okay, so one floor above us would be the, the first floor. So let's take a look at the first floor map and see what correlates, right? It would be in this area here. So this casket is likely what we need to open up in order to actually get the light in there. So maybe we'll try just Heading in that direction again? Were we blocked from going through here? Probably. So I guess we'll try going back to the upstairs area. You guys hear that creaking in the background? One of the most unsettling things in horror games is when you're not safe when you're in your menus, right? When you're reading something, when you're menuing to use an item, if you're not safe, oof. That is, that is difficult. 
So we weren't able to do anything this way. So I think we will want to turn left up here. And see what we find. I'll also say, because the maps are starting to get a little bit bigger, and it's becoming easier to actually get lost in these environments, if at some point I find myself wandering endlessly trying to figure out what to do, I will let you guys know and just be like, hey, I'm uh, you know, gonna do that whole editing magic thing and I'll be back when I actually know where to go. So let's try heading up here. So we're now on the first floor. And so on our right should be the door over here. But again, I think we needed a specific key to open that area. Maybe now that we have the specific task of opening that box and letting that light in, we'll be able to take like a psychic photograph or something that'll tell us where we can go. Or where we should go, rather. Because I'm pretty sure we already know every place we can go at the moment. Oh my! That was a, that was a spook, all right. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Is it only one of them? It is. Wait a minute, how is there shutter chance? Interesting, I don't know what all five of the uh, things were. Oh, I definitely don't want to get hit by that. Another shutter chance. All right, all right. I've got maximum spirit power. Where, where is it? It should be, is it below me, to the left? There we go. Oh my. So we got the fatal frame, which is awesome because I used the, uh, the healing thing, which is good. You're over there, and now you're very close. You gonna attack me? Looks like it, possibly. No, I guess not. Just gonna take that so as not to let the torches kind of end up behind me. That was a pretty good photograph. It did a good number, and we healed from that one. Is it dead? Fatal glance, fatal glance, come on! Oh, I can't do a fatal glance. Are you not dead? Now are you dead? Now you're dying? Wait, what? The, the touch icon only showed up for like half a second, if that. Did you guys see that? How does that make any sense? Alright, well, let's take a look. There's some kind of hatch behind the altar. Maybe it's connected to the room below. I can't get it open. The camera's reacting to the altar. Boom, there we go. Let's get ourselves a nice psychic photograph. Where is that? You know what? Because I've been having a difficult time actually finding or keeping these photos, um, or just remembering what these photos are, I think what I'm going to do is take a picture of this with my phone so that I have it as a reference. But I do remember vaguely that room because of all the caskets. <clears throat> There's something in the photo. It's someone standing in a room with caskets. What is this one? Is that inside one of the caskets? Again, I'm going to take a picture just to be safe. Or is that like a mirror in the room that is unveiled? It's a person standing in a small boat. Is it? I don't see it. Oh, it's it's like sideways. I get it. That's in the main courtyard area. And there's another one. Dang, so many psychic photographs. So we're probably going to have to find quite a few different keys in order to actually do this. Now, where is this located? There's something behind a lattice window. I'll have to find all these three places. Where is the lattice window place? Trigger the mechanism, match the photos. Now, something I'm curious about is, are they marked on our map? It doesn't seem so. So, how are we gonna... Let's, let's take a look and plan our route for a moment. So, we're gonna want to go to the courtyard. This is where that boat is right? So that's one place. Where's the place with all the caskets? Oh, maybe the uh, room with casket <laughs> would be uh, a fitting place to look. All right, so I'll start with those two and then figure it out from there. So I can actually go back down these stairs. That'll take me right over here and I can go to that room pretty easily. Yeah, so we'll start with that. 
Okay, just one last time, reorient to myself. Okay, so yeah, we'll just head out of here and then follow the hallway and, and head down the stairs where we can. Okay, I believe this door should take us downstairs. Yep. Naturally, I'm, I'm anticipating a battle at each of these different areas. So we come down here, and I think on the left, yeah, the left is going to be the room with the casket. Okay. Oh, hello there. Are you an enemy or what? Oh, no, it's just the psychic photograph. I see. Oh, so we didn't have to work too hard to actually find the right, you know, orientation for that. You took a photo matching the psychic photograph. Now we actually have to fight this ghost, which is not too surprising. The music that plays when this ghost walks towards you is so cool. It's so unsettling. It's really well done. So we're... Oh, what? There are two of them? Well, that's not very nice. But it only is really like when you really focus in on them. This one on the left is definitely approaching me a little bit more quickly than I would like. So what I'm actually going to do is try to line them up. Did we get the fatal frame? No, we didn't. Darn it. Shutter chains, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aw, oh, man, this is not good. Where did they go? Darn it. So that didn't work out very well. I almost got the shutter chance. But didn't quite get it. Oh, now they're doing that little dance attack. Oh man. Again, just trying to get the... Ah, uh, darn it. I saw the... Oops. I tried to dodge. Don't think I was incredibly successful. Evidently. Oops. Okay, so I'm also noticing I'm on a lot lower health than I was before. So we will do that. And in the meantime, I'm going to go this way and back up a little bit. Hopefully we can get both of them in frame. Nice. Didn't do a ton, but it did do something. Where are they? It sounded like it was on my left and on my right. Okay. So I'm actually just going to do that. Oh, they both... It literally just like teleported over. Oh man. It's not very good. So I tried to. Oh man. I tried to run away. But did not effectively dodge. Okay. Oh shoot. This one's close. But we got a nice shutter chance there. We should be able to get some good damage off on this one in just a moment. Come on. Oh really? How did that not count as a fatal frame? I'm like right on this other ghost. Did we get the fatal frame? We did, nice. That should be a healthy amount of damage. That one's actually dead, I think. So let's run after it. Oops, are you not dead? No, you are dead, okay, good. Fatal glance, mid combat, all about it. Okay. So now we can take a good picture of that one, get some damage off. Our spirit power is pretty high. I dodged, which is lovely. And then we got, oh, that was a fatal frame. I thought it was a shutter chance. All right, run, 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 so we can get the fatal glance. I'm ready. But I mean, I was ready for that other ghost. <laughs> that just only showed up for a split second. Okay, so we took the psychic photograph. The question is, why? What are we going to find here? <clears throat> I thought we would find a key or something, right? Also, oof, that, that wet meter is maxed. That's probably why we took so much damage. Hmm. I probably just need to collect all three of, like, the photographs, essentially. I don't know if there's actually an item to be found in the room. It doesn't seem like it, at least. 
So I guess for the time being, I'll head out. Uh, I think if I go... Yeah, if I go out the other end here, I can make my way to the boat, which is the next place we can go to. I'm glad that the actually using the special shot, right, like the healing shot, is becoming something more, you know, muscle memory-esque. So I'm actually utilizing it. And it actually had, you know, a meaningful impact in that past battle, in my opinion at least. <clears throat> Took a photo matching the psychic photograph. Lovely. When Shrine Maiden's heart is full of the pain of those she's glanced, she returns to the water. It's kind of a nice picture. Okay. Battle. Yes, no, maybe. Small boat floats in the courtyard. The water extends all the way into the courtyard. I can probably get onto the boat from here. Okay, but there's no item there. At least this room, or this photo was a lot less ambiguous, right? If there was going to be an item, it was very clear exactly where it was going to be, right? I would not be surprised if, yeah, land, lattice window hallway. It seems like all three of the photographs are in this first floor area in the water area. So I was like, I, I bet it's gonna be over here. Sure enough. Here it is. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll have a battle in here as well, though. Apologies for the occasional... Oh, that's a... Uh... Oh, hello there. Man staring back. That's a pretty aggressive stare. If you ask me. Interesting. And so each of these is, you know, photographing maidens in certain places. You took a photo matching the psychic photograph. The ghost drops something when it disappeared. A mirror that seems to be made of stone. The light it reflects has an orange hue. The dark sun mirror. Huh. You got the slow lens. A lens that slows down the photograph subject for a set period of time. Ooh, I like that. To use it, equip it to your camera obscure and press square when you have enough spirit power. I should probably put the mirror on the altar. You gonna get attacked? I don't know, but at the very least, I do want to equip that slow one. You guys, I mean, those of you who've watched me play JRPGs or whatever, you guys know I'm really into like status effects. I'm not usually a big damage output type of player. I really enjoy tactical status application, and well, obviously that's uh, this new lens is appealing to me for that reason. That's why I'm probably going to keep the stun lens as well as the restore lens and replace the crush one with the slow lens. A lens that slows down the photograph subject for a set period of time. Okay. And then if I were to enhance that, what would happen? And it just makes the movements even slower. Okay. I think I want to go this way. Also, I'm curious about how Yuri dries over time, because our wet meter has been super full, and it's probably, and understandably, because we're walking through water right now, but when we were walking through water and we weren't already wet, we weren't, like, the meter wasn't building, right? That's why I'm curious as to why it's not dissipating or improving as we continue to run around. I understand why we got wet, right? Whenever we get hurt, um, because you know the maidens and their association with water, that's that's why that happens. But I'm a little bit curious as to what the requirements are for that going away over time, because I've noticed in previous chapters as we run around and do all of that, a lot of times it will go away. Okay, so let's head back on up to this shrine. Oops, I don't think that's the way I want to go. This is where I want to go. So let's take watch and see if that goes away as I walk around up here outside the water. Also, it sounds like her footsteps definitely have some water to them. Which is a nice little touch. Maybe annoying to some, but I think it's fitting.
Okay. Time for this Dark Sun Mirror. You place the Dark Sun Mirror on the altar. The hatch behind the altar opened. Okay. It's opened, and naturally that means that the black box down below should open too. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're able to find Miu, and, I don't know, fingers double crossed? <laughs> Hopefully she's alive, which is far from a guarantee in this story. Back downstairs we go. Was it to the left? No. It's gonna be completely opposite. It was over here, right? Yeah, I think so. The map is appreciated. <laughs> it makes a big difference. Wandering around a little bit aimlessly in a horrific environment can be very compelling from a horrific game design standpoint, right? Forcing the player to be a little bit aimless, stressed about encountering enemies, not knowing where to go, you know, no light at the end of the tunnel in sight, that sort of thing. But doing it forever just means that whatever scare there is loses any sort of impact and the player just becomes more frustrated than actually, you know, enjoying the game. So... Oh, hello there. You were just about to swoop in, jeez. I gotta remember that this ghost in particular can come up from the water, right? Oh, it's like zooming all over. It's over. It's all over the mountains. Waters are tainted. That's right. They were trying to keep the water pure. The immortal flower will wither and the black water will overflow. Uh-oh. Well, that's not very good. Is that Mew? We get it? Yes, we got the shutter chance, nice. It looks like, um, well, a couple things. Oh, did we get it? No, we didn't. There's so many of those. Optimal op opportunists. What are those even? Those are like little orbs that I'm sure function as like traps as you're walking around. Okay, okay. I see you. You don't get them any points from doing that, though. I think it's literally we're just sort of neutralizing a particular attack. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Did I dodge it? I think so. We got a nice shutter chance in there, too. And our spear power is up. Alright, we're gonna use the healing shot next time. But notably, we actually need to do damage in order to do the healing shot. Notice that I got points there, and I think it's for neutralizing those attacks. But not actually, I didn't do any, like, real damage there. Doesn't seem like I can actually do much damage. Until, like, that square appears. So let's see. Are you going to become more, like, visible now? Yeah, I have to get rid of all of those things first. Okay, you going to attack? I'm ready. I'm so ready. Nice, Fatal Frame. And we got the healing bonus on that first shot, too. So hopefully we got a good amount of health back. And it looks like we did, honestly. Okay. We'll get another shot in there while we can. You going to attack again? Nope. Oh. And, oh yeah, she's totally gonna attack. Here she comes. Nice. Dude, that was a good one. That was like, we went to the last second, so we got a lot of damage from how big that was. And look how much health we healed on that. We healed so much health there. Okay, we gotta get rid of all this stuff. Almost. Almost got the shutter chance. Oh, I'm stuck. Wherever I am, I'm stuck. Nice dodge. Alright, we take that. Is that a fatal frame shot or what? I don't know. There we go. Go 
ghost photograph. That's coming straight at me. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Come on, come on. Darn it. I did not successfully avoid it. I tried, I promise. And our mobility is relatively limited here. Oh boy, that was like... You were like right on me there. Wait, did we beat it? Can I fatal glance? Please? I don't think so. I'm trying. I feel like I tried to get a fatal glance the only way I could. If I missed out on a really big fatal glance there, I'm so sad. <laughs> I will say that's maybe one thing that's become a little bit frustrating is fatal glances are so rewarding, right? When you get those awesome cutscenes, it's so saddening when like the enemy goes out of bounds or something. And I understand, you know, strategically not getting shutter chances, which is what I've been trying to do now. But like, come on, if that was a really cool fatal glance, I'm really bummed that I didn't get it. And it feels almost like I should have gotten it. But either way... Mew! We didn't see that in the prologue. Looks like we've got Miu. <laughs> Seems like she wasn't uh, very eager to get her picture taken. She couldn't do anything. Dang. You have to find her before she disappears. Huh. Interesting thought. I'm also curious about that, that last ghost we battled, right? Who was that? Because they were talking about how the waters were already tainted, right? It had already been contaminated by the black water, and that it was a problem. And they talked about the pillars, which we've obviously learned more about, but... Oh no. That ain't good. Yo, Mew, we gotta run. Like, now. So, just because we're now finding ourselves in a little bit of a battle, <laughs> I think it's reasonable <laughs> to heal up a little bit. Will you end yourself with it? Oh, you know what? Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, so we use the slow lens. We're taking photographs, but uh, for some reason I don't think it's working out too well. Am I supposed to actually fight this? Or am I running away? Oh my goodness. I use the slow. Yeah, we're, we're totally toast. 
Wait, do we just heal? What are we supposed to do? I don't really know. Yeah, because... Oh, wait a minute. I bet it used my mirror stone. I bet it used my mirror stone. Let me check. I think it did. Oh, man. I wasn't even, like, that low. That did over half of my health. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what we need to do is run away. Right. So if we need to run away, where are we going to go? Oh, we're going to have to go through this area, aren't we? And then back out this way. Seriously? So I was going the right way, but now I'm going to have to run by here. Alright, alright. So let's bait her over this way. We'll use the slow one. And then we'll run by. Like that. And then keep on running. Miu, you better stay tight. And then just like that, the music goes away. What the heck? Oh my. I have no idea how I survived that. Is she in here too? The, uh, the maiden of black water, I guess? I don't know what I'm dying. Oh man. For such a strong, uh, performance throughout most of the... What's it called? Most of the chapter. Struggling a little bit at the end here. So we'll take that photo. Oh man. Whole bunch of damage here. I can't really... My mobility is very limited. So it's very easy. Oh, it's gonna be down below, right? Dodge. Nice. Get a nice picture there. Do some damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aw, oh, man. Didn't quite get it. There we go. There's a weak shutter chance, but it was a shutter chance. I guess I have a second shot at getting the fatal glance for these. Aw, oh, man. Where are they? There's one there. The other one is there. Okay. Well, we'll take that shutter chance for the moment. Okay, you're over there. Miu, you want to come give me some help? You're off over there. Are they both over here now? Yeah, we, can, we should be able to get a shutter chance. There we go. Oh, we've got another one right away. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Second shutter chance. Alright, so that one's dead. Let's run over and see if we can get it. Nope, looks like it's not going to happen. Oh, dang, that could have been bad, too. Because the other one died, this one's probably also close to dying. Yep. Which is why I started running over here as quickly as I could. Well, doesn't look like Fatal Glance was an option there. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm still so bummed about that Mirror Stone. Ah! I wish at the very least it even showed like an animation or something. That was like a... Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, well, she's back. Run, Mew, run! At the very least, Mew doesn't take damage, right? Like, if we genuinely had to escort Mew at this point of the game, that would be incredibly frustrating. Ah, shoot. Where is she? Please tell me she's behind me. Alright, we're gonna go up this way and try to escape. I'm sure she's, like, right on our tail. Almost there. Come on. Alright, at least the door opens. I was scared it wouldn't. Run, 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 run. I'm holding down the run button. Come on, Yudi. Like your life depends on it. Because it really does. Okay. We made it out of the shrine. Luckily. I'm sure we got destroyed by that maiden because we were already wet and that amplified the damage we took, but over half of our life bar, dang. That's pretty intense. Okay, ephemeral station. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Everybody is familiar with it at this point. All the lights are out. Maybe the lightning caused the circuit breaker to kick in. 
There must be a power switch around here somewhere. All right, let's see if we can get the cable car running. It would probably be in either this room or that other room. Holy cow, it is dark. No, that's not me just editing the footage or anything. This is insanely dark right now. I can hardly see anything beyond what's immediately lit by my flashlight. Tall woman. Yeah, tall enough that I can't see her face. Oh, shoot. We're getting attacked. We're under attack. There are two of them. I don't really know where the second one is. Oh, you're hanging. <laughs> what a waste. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, turn around and kind of streamline them a little bit. Wait, what the heck? Oh, it's the one on the right that's attacking me. Darn it. I'm holding down the dodge button. It's not very effective, obviously. Holy cow! Aw, oh, man. Come on. Finally got the fatal frame. After taking so much damage. We are absolutely cornered. Ah, shoot. I'm holding dodge. I don't think it was incredibly effective, so we're gonna use an herbal medicine. Yeah, we're, we're struggling a little bit, and I switched to the restore lens or whatever it's called so that I can try and do some damage with that and hopefully get a little bit of health back. Should get a little bit of HP from that. Yeah, we're 100% cornered. Oh, man. I thought I'd get the fatal frame, but... Are we getting, like, double attack right now? So I guess my, my stra strategies to improve are not getting cornered repeatedly. Okay, shutter chance. And get another one right here as soon as uh, they go away. What the heck? They're just like chilling in the wall there? Where are they? Okay, you're over here. Something is gonna fall. Yep. And then run at me, or...? Yeah. So, should have healed a little bit. I used one of the restorative lenses there. Dang, they are taking a lot of damage. Alright, use the restorative lens there, too. Darn it. Come on. Nice. That was a super clutch shutter chance, honestly. Alright, we need this fatal glance. We're, we're running low on points, guys. Oh, is this the lady that hung herself in the unfathomable forest? She gazed into her eyes, saw everything, and that's when her fate was sealed. There we go. Took the time to do a couple uh, restore shots there too, so healed up a bit, which is nice. 
Oh, this is that person. The one that tempted Udumi before. Or the innkeeper, right? How unsettling. But how incredible those cutscenes are. Those fatal glances are probably one of my favorite things. Oh, wait, I didn't even hit the power switch. Probably one of my favorite things about this game so far. They're so well done. Especially when you consider that up um, until this point, we've seen so many interactions, right? With these ghosts. We've read about their stories. We've been tempted to follow their fates, right? And we've seen their ghosts arguably, you know, collected them up until this point, but now we're really getting to see what happened. We're gazing into their memories just like the maidens themselves. It's pretty incredible, honestly. But, anyways, power's back on. So let's head on over to the cable car. Cable car, oh wait, it's over there. We gonna board on this side? Sure we can. Okay. Power switch, or are we waiting for Miu to hop on too? Now can we do it? No? Okay, maybe this one at the other end. There we go. Quality time with Miu or We'll put our brains together and do what we can using the power of friendship, Miu. That's what it's all about. Sure, there's a tunnel nearby. It opens up to the rooftop of the old inn. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? We're about to go underground into like a tunnel and then to the top of that inn? The inn that's given us so many troubles? That's almost comical. Yudi certainly cannot catch a break. And also this, this chapter, this drop has gone on for quite some time. So now we're searching for a tunnel. We gonna find here some herbal medicine. Nice. Oh darn it! I thought I was ready. Guess I wasn't. <laughs> so which way are we gonna go? According to the tourist brochure, there's a cave. Gonna keep going down this way. Hikami Tunnel exit. Sounds like that's the way to go. Although, naturally, I do want to explore this area quickly then, just to make sure there aren't any items or anything we're missing up here. I wouldn't expect much, but... Yeah. Had to test it just to be safe. You guys know me. 
also naturally our wet meter is probably gonna remain quite high for the remainder of this <laughs> drop. Oh, is there a ghost on our right? I hear something. Definitely heard something. Alright, I guess. <laughs> to Hikami Tunnel, new exit. Alright, that's where we'll go then. Poor Miu. Wakes up, rescued, gets chased by the, the Maiden of Black Water, only to, you know, get caught in the middle of this thunderstorm, and still amidst her emotions of depression and, you know, failure. She wasn't able to do anything for her mother. Okay. We're getting attacked by that ghost over there. Presumably. Looks like it's go time. Huh? What was up with that? That was odd. Very odd, actually. So, naturally, that other way behind me is where we're supposed to go, I'm sure. So I'd like to take a look down here. The road is blocked off, I can't go any further. To be expected, but of course, had to take a look. The mist is pretty thick, too. Also, I was just noticing, I like that the, the raindrops show up on the camera lens when we're looking through it. It's a nice little touch. White light spills out of the old phone booth. Okay. Is there anything left behind where that lady was standing? No? An expanse of forest comes right up to the side of the road. This probably leads to the unfathomable forest. Excuse me? I did not see whatever I was supposed to see, and just tried to scan the area to see whatever ghost there was. that coming from? That isn't you, you right, Mia? <laughs> well, how inviting. <laughs> we can, uh... Oh, seriously? I thought I was ready again! We can go into the tunnel and meet whoever's screaming like that. Oh my! On the floor there. Seriously? Give me that sweet, sweet spirit power. Okay, where are you coming from this time? Over here? I see ya. And... Come on. Fatal Frame. There we go. Ooh, that was a good one for the, uh... I used the Restore one there. We got a lot of damage off, though, so probably healed quite a bit. So unsettling. Also so neat. Holy cow, it's also so cool that they tie the ghost's combat to the way that they died and are essentially living their afterlife, right? 
Like, he was crawling on the ground for his attacks because that's what he was doing when he was trying to escape from his car after the crash. <laughs> Just look at this tunnel, guys. Just look at this tunnel. What a safe environment to run through. There's two lone girls. Young women. <laughs> a metal cart has been left here piled with rocks. Lovely. Every time I see these construction hats... What was that? Every time I see these construction hats, I can't help but think of the Metors from uh, the Mega Man series, which is another one of my favorite game series. Oh, and there's electri electricity just flailing around. A fence has been put up to keep back the earth and rock. Beyond the fence, the area looks open. Oh, hello there. Oh, seriously? Back up, come on. There we go. We get plenty of spirit power. There's one on my right that I don't want to forget about. On my right or behind me? Seriously, man? Why you gotta be like that? Oh, what? Okay, so Fatal Frame was really nice. Sorry, Miyu, you really found yourself in a pretty bad spot there. Did we take him out? Yeah, we did. We took out both of them, I think. Oh, I don't think we took that one out, though. Aw, oh, it's just that one. Alright, give me that sweet, sweet fatal frame. Okay, that should be it. Okay. What's over here? A note? Oh, <laughs> I got psyched out. What appears to be a report is inside this damp string tie file folder, the cave-in record. It's a record on what happened during the tunnel cave-in. This makes three landslides. It's blocked off the tunnel, trapping 18 workers inside. Reports say that this time the wall on the summit side collapsed, bringing in water which caused further damage. There must be a flooded cave. We found the survivors, but given the risk of further injury, rescue efforts have been suspended. Water is still rushing out, making any rescue attempt inordinately difficult. We are waiting for the deluge to stop before the deluge bef to stop before attempting aid. We've recovered 13 bodies. Something has left the corpses black and rotting, like they're melting or something. Of course, it's black water, right? We've searched almost all of the tunnel, but still haven't found those last five bodies. We found a hole inside that looks like it was dug from the inside by hand. It appears to connect to the caverns. Though it's unlikely, we're going to continue the search to see if anyone escaped into the caves. A number of black boxes were discovered in the caves. Uh-oh. Their lids are shut tight and they can't be opened. They seem to be filled with water. They may be anthropologically significant, so we need permission to move them before continuing our search. Also, if you guys can hear me with walking in the background, the occasional footstep. <laughs> There are repeated reports of spotting a woman in a white kimono inside the cavern. Amongst the search party, several of those involved in moving the black boxes have had their hands or other body parts turned black and started to show signs of necrosis. We are advising against touching the boxes. Three people are missing. We found the body of the search party leader, as well as two workers caught in the cave in Mikomori Pond. Their bones are all broken and they exhibit the same black corrosion as the others. With the death of the search party leader, the search has been called off. There are growing rumors of a curse, so the workers seem relieved. Construction has officially been abandoned. We're blocking off the site. Yikes. That's pretty spooky. Also... <laughs> oh, Koei Tecmo. They've certainly started to adopt a, uh, a strategy with their protagonists. Let's see. Oh, so there's this cavern here that we can potentially go to. I want to see what's over this way before we do that, though. It looks like... Interesting. Okay, so that looks like that's where we're supposed to go. So naturally, we'll go explore this cavern a little bit more. Maybe it's something we'll investigate further at a later time. This path leads farther up the mountain. We're looking for a way down right now. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm glad we checked first. Okay. 
So let's hope we don't get electrocuted by the random sparks from all this electricity just flailing around. Okay. I see you. One of our friends. All the way up there, gonna swoop down at me? You bet you are. I guess before you get too close, I'll do a little bit of damage like that. Create a nice little spirit remnant. I'm gonna do one more. Now we got the shutter chance ready to go. You gonna come attack me? Eh, I'll take the, the shutter chance for now. Oh, that thing? Definitely want to avoid that. So in the meantime, I'll just do that. Pretty nice little spirit remnant. Still want to restore a little bit of HP, so when I got that shutter chance, I'll use my spirit power for that. Nice, and that brings us kind of back to, to full health, which is pretty good. Okay. You gotta be wary, because, yeah, we, we just took it out. Run, 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 run for the fatal glance. <laughs> Nothing too special to see, though. What's this on the left? Oh, some sacred water. Alright, we'll take that. Man, this restore, this healing lens, it's easily my favorite. Can we walk down here? No. <laughs> Something hidden behind here? Yes. All the items hidden in those nook and crannies. Oh, dude, seriously? Really? I'm sure you guys can hear me clicking my joysticks when I do that, but I thought I thought I was on point. Turns out I wasn't. Something that's at least a little bit reassuring is that whenever we do get caught by that, they don't immediately like double dip. They don't have the hand attack twice. It won't open, it's being held shut by a powerful force. What? Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, friend. That's not really an option right now. Oh, seriously, what a waste. Come on, fuck on. You gonna attack or what? There we go. I guess, yeah, might as well use the restore and get back to full health while we can. Dang, that was a long fatal frame. Ah, oh, shoot, that was way too early. Start backing up, backing up, backing up, holding reload. load. Come on. There we go. Ooh, that was like at the last moment. His hand was right about to reach me. Let's get this fatal glance. Sorry, bud. Can't exactly take you with me. Okay, so if that's not where we're supposed to go... Oh, no, it was just the, the powerful force that was holding the door shut was that ghost. Does the tunnel continue, or are we back out into the open now? Okay, seems we're back to the unfathomable forest. Anything over here on the sides? Doesn't seem so. Okay. We should be approaching the, the manor, right? Ooh, we can go over there, or we can go over here. There's so many pathways. What? That's so tempting. Construction materials have been left down the blocked off road. The road curves to the left disappearing into the mist. Is that something over there? No, it's just a glint on the log. All right, which way do we want to go? Can we inspect the truck at all? It's a rusted out abandoned truck. There's no glass left in the windows and it is full of leaves. I think, I guess we'll start by exploring this way to Mikomori Hot Springs. I don't think that's where we want to go, is it? Hmm. We about to start that, uh, that one Hot Springs episode? <laughs> Miko Mori Hot Springs. We can open the door? Oh no. What the heck? Have we been here before? We have, right? Okay, Ichiru Manor, the, the back door. Okay, so that's good to know. Naturally, 
<laughs> you know what that means, guys, right? Because we know for a fact that this is the way to go as far as the story is concerned. Wait, what? No! That means there was that second path we didn't explore. Sad. Well, I tried. <laughs> Either way, we're back at Ichiru Manor. Can't go this way, can we? The walls and ceilings have collapsed, blocking the staircase. I can't get down to the second floor from here. Alright. Then naturally, we'll head over this way. Is this some film? Looks like it. Not this time. Not this time. Aw, oh, man, it was type 14? Let's see here. How much type 14 do we have? 90. And how much was this? Was it... Let me try and pick it up again. Come on. Was it 24 of them? Oh, seriously? <laughs> That's too soon. Too soon, ghost. 24 of them. Okay. So it actually makes sense to try to get our Type 14 film down to 75 so that we can fill up to the max. Miu? Um, Miu? Where are you at? <laughs> so this is going to be kind of an awkward, like, all right, photo shoot time. I was thinking if Miu were here, we could actually do something meaningful for the, the photo shoot. <laughs> But now we're just wasting film without Miu. Alright, well I'll start walking back towards the door and maybe she's through there. But in the meantime, we gotta drop down to 75. So that we can get to exactly 99 for our film. And most of you are probably are like, oh my goodness, what a time waster. <laughs> so stupid. Don't know why- we, Miu, you were there all along? Excuse me? What? <laughs> How does that work? Alright. A little too close, Mew. You gotta you gotta back up a bit. Alright, now now are you gonna stay out here or what? Because last time we came out here, I looked around and you disappeared. But then when I turned to go into the other room to find you, you were there. Let's see, maybe we'll take a picture of this electrical appliance. How atmospheric. Got four pictures to go. What are you thinking, Mew? You look a little you look a little lost. No, no. Don't continue. <laughs> Don't tell me it's the end of the chapter. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just wasted so many points in the Type 14 film. I was too away. Hinosaki-san,の家の方には連絡がつかなかった。また明日かけてみる。行かないと。もう一度。先生、ちょっとこちらへ。ああ。Poor Miu. Alright, add that to the list of... <laughs> add that to the list of quality of life improvements. If you're not totally full of film, and the amount you try to pick up is more than you can carry, just max it out, and that's that. So I don't have to do what I just tried to do, and then totally failed to do. Look how, how close were we? Okay, we were like three away. Unbelievable. And now those are points I'm not going to have to uh, to upgrade my camera. Darn. Alright, well, well, we'll shadow read with Miu.
嘘ばっかりしかも嘘ついた方が傷ついているんでしょうバカみたいIt was an incredible cutscene. Dang. And to, to kind of add a little bit of extra emphasis to that, when Mia was saying that at the end, um, I think she said, like, Katteni Minaide Saite, is in, like, don't just, like, I don't know, full of yourself, like, think you're entitled to seeing into my memories, and called her the absolute worst. <laughs> now, that's a little bit more aggressive than I think what the translation said, but Mio Hinasaki was found in a reliquary within the Shrine of the Ephemeral. Yuri attempted to glance at the sleeping Miyu's memories, but found the tables turned against her. It seems Miyu also possesses the same shadow reading abilities as Yuri. That's what that exchange was. That's so cool. It's like, uh, it reminds me of like those Sharingan battles from Naruto, where it's like all in their heads, but it's like so intense, right? They're shadow reading into each other's really dark pasts. And we got a glimpse there into Yuri's as well as, as Miyu's, and it was incredibly insightful. Wow. So we got an S rank still, which is lovely. Um, look at that Type 14 film, right? We get 100 points per film. We could have had an extra, you know, 20 or like 2,000 points or so. It's not the end of the world, obviously, but it is kind of funny. And then the Mirror Stones, we lost 5,000 for that. Ultimately, it was still an S rank, though, because I'm pretty sure those higher grade films, like look at that, the Type 0 film is worth uh, 2,500. The Type 90 film is worth a ton. The Type 61 film, that put in a ton of work in our score, right? So overall, very cool chapter, or very cool drop. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Learning about Mew, who, and interesting, we got a trophy for the Immortal Flower. Huh. But yeah, we, we had our first real rundown with the Maiden of Blackwater. We found Mew, we got a little bit of insight into her past. We got to explore a really neat new environment and we had some interesting new battles as well. And we're getting to utilize some of the lenses in new manners and getting to upgrade our camera, which, which has been really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this one just as much as I did. But of course, we're gonna continue with the seventh drop where we try to find Hisoka Kurosawa, finally trying to find Hisoka um, in the next episode. This is a little bit of a long one, but I felt like we were coming to an end. <laughs> then, of course, there was the tunnel and then the manor and stuff. Uh, we just kind of kept going a little bit, but it's still a reasonable length episode, and I I'm really enjoying this game. And again, I, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. But until the next episode, this is Mim90, and this mission is complete. <laughs>